the last day. The last day of our trip and we are going to be heading back to jolly old Sussex, Worthing. Oh, hello Judy. Hello. Shunt up a bit. Um, and we've got to just tidy up the house. I've laid for breakfast as you've seen. And um, I mean this way a bit. And then that way a bit. And then that way a bit. And then this way a bit more. And playing along now. Yeah, playing along. We've had a lovely time. It's been very nice down in Wiltshire. We've not really had much sunshine, but we've managed to get out and do stuff. Yes, it's been one big adventure. Now just hold your horses a second, because we didn't get into the climax of the previous day in the last episode. If I remember rightly, we were still in Laycock, seeing all those lovely buildings, and then we were going for a stroll in the country, and we saw cows, when... Suddenly I hear a... <laughs> and Richard disappears from beside me. He slipped on a cow pat. I knew those cows wanted to get me one way or the other. And Julia, she just laughed. I really shouldn't laugh though, because it will be me, me next. But it really, it looked like it, just a tyre track in there. Like a, the joy know. of it is, is that smell will be in the van and you will whiff it. Yeah, well I already said you stink. <laughs> well, since. Stepping in the poop, of course. Yeah, all right. That's not that first comment. You s spoke to me at breakfast then. <laughs> no. No, I wouldn't say something so mean. Maybe me go Unless... back and have another shower. <laughs> oh, dear. Are you fed up of seeing these old buildings now? We're not. There does seem to be plenty of public walks to explore in the area, which, in my opinion, is a great compliment to the architecture of Laycock Village. Although I did find the downloaded map was struggling to find us. So, to cover my ineptitude, I played a practical joke on Julia. But she wasn't having any of it, she wasn't taken in. Little did I know that we were heading for more danger. That's the bridge that we drove over. It's quite a long bridge, hoping that we could get more of it. And then to my right, that's the cows we've got to walk through. That's the Julia who's going to protect me. She's a hero. And I need protecting. Okay, so slightly worried about these cows, but um, bullocks. bullocks, they're bullock cattle, they're cattle, but they're bulls. Sli yeah. What did you say they were? Castrated? Castrated male cows. So about two years of age, I think. Right, so... About Jojo age. Yeah, let's hope they're not like Geronimo Joe and <laughs> climb yeah. all over us. No, all of these lovelies seem much more placid than my boy. They seem, luckily, they seem interested in the grass than us. Yeah. So, shall we risk it? Yeah. Yeah. It's starting to rain now. So yeah, let's get back. Yeah. didn't have to take... Yeah, a delayed route. Around. They're not interested in us. It's no, fine. cool. That one's looking at me rather severely. Hello. Hello. Oh, got scared. I can tell you, I was cacking my pants as we wandered through that field, but finally we made it to the bridge and then back to the van. just pulled up um, on the way back from Laycock um, because there was a bit of a diversion we had to go around the houses a bit yes <laughs> but actually we came back onto the same road that we went up on and Julia had seen this weird tower you'd mentioned yeah this pale square tower with what looked like you know bell bell openings yeah so 
we didn't really think that we'd actually get to see it. But in fact, on this journey up, bang, we went past it. So on the return, we just stopped to have a look. And yeah. it's, a, what is it, a spa? Yeah, um, some hotel, hotel, spa and country club type. Bowood, I think it yes. was, yeah. yeah. So it must have been an estate at some point, and now it's a spa, you know, hotel, etc. Yeah, it's part of the gate, gatehouse, basically, wasn't it, that tower? And then on the side up, we saw this well house. Yeah. And I wanted to stop on the way, but again, we didn't. And so we stopped on the way back, thought, oh, come on, we'll have a quick look. Beautiful little well. Poor old Julia fell down, um, but she did manage to get out again. Yeah, found some convenient footholds. Uh, restored in 2002 from an original well house. And there's houses opposite, which, or this little area that we're in, I don't know what it's called. Very uh, picturesque little houses. Very picturesque that it must have served in its day. Uh, except there's some protest signs. They are protesting a solar power farm, farm basically. Which obviously is going to blight the uh, countryside, presumably. Yeah, I've got a bit of a bugbear against solar farms. It's like, if you want to get solar power, put them on ho uh, hospitals, put them on... Utilitarian, every single, new, yeah. every single new house should have them if you're that fussed about it. But no, don't waste a field with it. Rewild that field. Give it to the wildlife or something. I'm with you there. Oh. <sighs> Right, so we're back to uh, the supermarket. We're going to do a bacon and pasta meal tonight. Uh, that's been our last day. Tomorrow, we've got to go home. Yeah. And so this was the last visit to the supermarket. But hopefully, we'll be back again in the future. Okie dokie then. Okie dokie then. And then the heavens opened. There was one more thing we were going to do today before we go. Right at the beginning of this video, I went for a walk and I pointed to a tree and I said, that's the tree Julia wants to go and have a look at. I won't go and have a look at. We will do it this evening. We've been back like 10 minutes maybe? 10 minutes and it's... Suddenly down for... Don't think we're going to be doing that. I might put the raincoat on and go and have a look and have a cuddle anyway. Oh, see. My. It might stop in five minutes. Yeah, I'll probably She's... just get on with the dinner. It says optimistically. Well, that was Thursday. Right, back to Friday. Where were we? Ah, yes, breakfast. Yeah, yeah wait a minute, hang on, we've seen all this. Come on, get on with it. <laughs> all the local villages and towns and things. Yeah, we've, we've enjoyed it, haven't we? Yeah. Love to do it again. Big thank you to David um, Chamberlain for the access to his house. And massive, massive thank you. It's so appreciated. Um, we couldn't really do it, you know, because we can't both be in the van. Campsites are booked up. Can't afford a tent at the moment, so. Airbnbs are all over the place, so it was really, really kind. So thank you so much for that. Um, and the house is immaculate. We are going to obviously trash trying. it before we leave. <laughs> We're trying, trying, trying to leave it tidier than we found it, which is very hard. Very it hard. Was Tall order. Span. Tall order. Yes. Um, so we're going to have breakfast, and then the plan is to go and see your brother today. Yes. Um, we may or may not go out, depending on the weather, and there's um, some local interest places. And then we're going to your mum's, mm -hmm. picking up another cushion for the van which is lovely, and then heading back to Sussex. Yeah. Um, we've got to be back anyway, because we have a, got a show to do. Got a show to do, the old Vogue show, and then tomorrow we've got the Bald Explorer walk, which mm. by the time this goes out, we, we would have done it. Um, my kids are still away until tomorrow at least, so all right. I could come and do the show with you. Yeah. I've got no way of getting to you though. Maybe well, I'll okay. lift you, give you a lift. Maybe. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, there we go. Um, well, we'd better get on and have some breakfast. Yes. Come on in. Coffee. I'm starving. Breakfast done, it was time to pull off the sheets, pack up and get going. Well, we are on our way. Ah. Sad, really, to say goodbye to Khan, but we've had a good week, and we're driving, actually, we're driving up over the hills at the back towards where your brother is. Where does your brother live at the moment? Tidworth. Oh, Tidworth. Yes. I don't know. I've never been there. 
Yeah. Um, Me neither, we, actually. So I'm looking forward to visiting. Yeah. So we left the place nice and tidy, um, stripped the beds, and all the usual stuff, and said Back goodbye to floors Chris. And yeah. and all of that. So yeah, onwards with our day. The weather is just like every other bloody day, a bit overcast. Um, I expect next week will be full of sunshine, <laughs> but never mind. Look at all these wonderful rolling downs. Beautiful. We soon arrived, and brother and sister were reunited. So grabbing our walking boots, we headed off for a lovely stroll. Tom, Julia's sister, no, brother, is a slack. Oh yeah, you're the, where are you? There you are. Is leading us on a walk up to Sidbury Hill. Sidbury Hill in Wiltshire, which is just on the edge of the army personnel's um, married quarters. Married quarters, yes, that would be it. Mm. So, looking forward to having this little bit of a, a stroll. Stomp. Still in Wiltshire, the army personnel quarters are adjacent to some beautiful countryside and all within walking distance. It's a mixture of woodland and heath. It's a great place to stop and explore some of nature's unusual marvels. Is it not? Or is it the bug? No, it's the bug, but I think it's a reaction to the parasite, maybe. Possibly. Just trying to work out, there's a... I don't know my elm. This, this is a weird plant because of the way it's not elm, I'm sure it's not elm, but this tree has these leaves all all dotted it's across them in a... It's with something. Um, well, it's just a weird shape, isn't it? Mm. It's very alien-like. Yeah, and even the bark is all, it's like long ridges, like four ridges on, on either side of it. It's bizarre. Very strange. Tom was telling us that this area is all part of the Salisbury Plain, part of the army training ground. Um, some of it owned by the, the army and rented out to the farmers. And uh, this is going up towards, what do you call it, five sisters? Seven. Seven sisters, because of the seven tracks that lead up to one point. Cross country training area, there we go. What be a lovely place though to be, you know, to go training. When yeah. well, it's not raining. When it's not raining, yes. Tom and I were just saying about um, all the crickets and the, the, the wildlife that gets to, to basically, the, it's like a sanctuary until, of course, the uh, tanks come through. And come through, <laughs> yeah. But, but there again, without the army owning the place and keeping it like it is, Apart from the few times when they run tanks through it, they wouldn't be able to have any kind of sanctuary here at all, really. Would no. they? There'd be houses or farms. Farm or... to bits, wouldn't it? Yeah. So Double edged blade. Double edged, yeah. Beautiful place. Here we are, a glade of um, what looks like a lot of beech trees. What's the uh, yellow hanging stuff on the trees signify? Mine tape, so it's just probably marking off areas for them to. When they have exercises, they just leave stuff behind. Marking off areas for yeah, training. Marking uh, maybe a hub, hub area or, or just points. I don't, I don't know. Say really. that again. What? <laughs> marking out. Hub areas. Hub areas. Yeah, I don't think they'll use this as a hub area, but. Hub, um, as in H-U-B. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. uh, no, H-U-B. Hub? hub. What? No, harbour. Like harbour. Safe harbour. Oh, safe harbour. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I can tell you it didn't feel very safe with wild motorcycles looming out of the woodland without warning, but apparently people do come here to do all sorts of off-road manoeuvres. It's 
So this is what we see before us is actually Ministry of Defence land um, and it's basically cross-country training. Uh, cross-country driver training area. Driver training. So. Cross-country driver training area which you can see by all the random seemingly random tracks across it. Ablutions done, it was time to climb Sidbury Hill. Nice view. We have entered the Iron Age hill fort, which reliably informed was perched on top of a, an earlier Neolithic settlement. And Tom tells us that there were excavations as a number of these sites would have been back in the 50s and probably in the 20s as well um, if not before as people started to become more and more interested in our antiquities just going through this glade of just, forest just trying to work out is that a chinook, is we, can, a chinook I can hear? we can hear not helicopters sure. we've seen motorbikes we've not seen any tanks and we've not seen any Celtic fighters which is very disappointing but if you can imagine being somebody trying to attack a hill fort like this and you clamber up the hill with all the paraphernalia that you need I don't suppose it's really changed that much that if you were in the modern day with modern kit having to go up on foot it's still going to knacker you out isn't it and that's the whole purpose of the um, a hill fort this has been quite an education coming up here. Tom knows his, uh, his early history and it's fantastic. And I suppose living in, in Wiltshire, of course, with the connection so um, very much in your face with Stonehenge, Avebury, the long barrows, the round barrows. We saw some round barrows just on the plain down below us, of which, of course, Wiltshire very much peppered with. Sussex had them. But unfortunately, Sussex had a lot more farming and was um, obliterated much more. But this is very much the sort of centre, I suppose, of the ancient world. Although, of course, or ancient England, although, of course, ancient England was across, across all of England. As you, as you start to travel around and you find the old henges and various um, barrows. Thanks, Tom, for taking us up Sidbury Hill. I thoroughly enjoyed that. We are on our way to Julia's parents. Across what seems to be a back... backways using the old sat -nav. Quite nice seeing a bit of the countryside. We've been just gone through, didn't film it sadly, didn't think about it because we're getting tired now. Wallop, lower wallop, over wallop, big wallop. The wallops. The wallops should have been walloped, could have had a wallop. Wh wallop, wallop us for not filming it. Yeah, we need a wallop definitely for not filming it. Really enjoyed that walk up Sil Sidbury Hill. That was uh, great. Um, really lovely to have a lark about with my little brother. Although I say little, he's about the same size as me. <laughs> he seems good sport, doesn't he? He is a good sport, is my little brother. He's a good lad, good lad that one. Love him to bits, of course. Botley, oh, we're getting close. Bum, bum. I was born. I 
many miles now? Four and a four point seven till we get off the motorway. Fifteen minutes till we get to see your mum and the new cushion. All yes. the excitement of it all. Excellent. Thrill a minute. It's the thrill a minute here. Da, 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 da. And it's neck and neck. Anyone's going to win. Is it the VW or the Transit? And they're going at neck and neck speed. Ed, the, the Transit is getting ahead of him. Oh yes, look at that. Over the next hurdle and it's anyone's business. After that journey, we have arrived back at 24 Acacia Avenue, in case you missed it the first time. Ding! Let's hope those bacon sarnies are being drummed up for us this time, because we missed them last time. <laughs> yeah, because we were a bit late last time, but we did get a nice tea party. We did have a lovely tea party. <laughs> right. Shall we? Ready to face? Yes. There you go, Richard. Your second one for the van. Ah, oh, this is the only reason we've come, you know. I oh, know it is. And the bacon rolls. <laughs> and the bacon rolls. <laughs> That's the second one. It's going to match absolutely I brilliantly. Know. Look at that. Awesome. Isn't that amazing? I love it. How long did it take you to do this? Three days. Three days? Solid. <laughs> hard labour. <laughs> it was hard labour. Oh, and you liked it so much you said... I'm going to make myself one. You're going to make yourself one? Yeah. They're beautiful colours. They are lovely. They're very much... Um, Julia's colours, aren't they? <laughs> aren't they? They're, no, they're I'm the... sorry about that. No, no, no. <laughs> the green and the peach. Yes, and the... It's... No, it's not. They're... It was, yeah. It softens the inside of the van, which it is does. this harsh black, yes. as everybody knows. Yeah. So I think it's going to be go brilliant. will go with the other one. At least it's different, because this one's crocheted in squares. Yes. And the other one was crocheted in, Absolutely. in a square. Well, this has made it's our different. whole trip, because our first video of this series was coming to collect the cushion. Then we just swanned off, went to Wiltshire and, and did yeah, a few things. And left me and, working. And left you slaving <laughs> away. And now we've got this wonderful cushion and it sort of ends our video. So we've... Rounds it off nicely. Yeah. We've had our um, bacon rolls. <laughs> yes. We've I've, had our cushions. I've got one to take away because I couldn't eat them both. So it couldn't be better. You're welcome. So we're going to go home now and um, I'm going to drop you off. You're going to see your cats. You're going to yep. see your kids and I'm going to see my Essie. I might put this <laughs> down by the Essie. Bet missed you. Oh, bless the <laughs> Essie. Not too close. <laughs> no, no, no. So brilliant. No, I don't know whether it's fireproof. No, no. No, I doubt it. It's staying in the van. Yeah, yeah. Grand. Well, thanks very much for watching this series. Um, it's been great. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron, support everything we do, send bags of money or cushions. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but they've got to be as good as this. I will see you. It doesn't ask for much, does it? No, it doesn't. On the next jaunt. Till then, wave. Bye. <laughs> I haven't got my makeup on. Oh, so sorry. <laughs>